Welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, you know those home meal services like uh, where they br- deliver the meals to your home? Oh, There's yeah, a- like HelloFresh. And- yeah, it, funny you mentioned HelloFresh. Yeah, it's the most famous one. Mm-hmm. Did you hear the story about HelloFresh? Uh, uh, no, they have a story. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, I did hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's maybe funny. that's why it was on your mind. It's funny. So, HelloFresh yeah. is being accused of obtaining coconut milk by immoral means. Immoral means. Is that what we're calling it now? Well, that's what I just made. I just made that up. But it, okay. it is immoral means. I mean, I guess. And then when you... <laughs> When we say immoral means, usually you think, oh, it's probably like slave labor yeah, or child, child labor. labor. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. in this case, they have monkey labor in Thailand. <laughs> what? It says that they're being accused of. <laughs> this is insanity. And I'm not laughing because of like what they're doing. It's no, just it's, so absurd. it's hilarious. Fuck the no, Monkeys are chained, whipped, and beaten, and forced to spend long hours picking coconuts. Okay, that's not funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It's not well, funny. I mean, it's either. not funny. Like it's just. <laughs> but yes, it, the 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 ridiculousness of it okay. is fun. But okay. like what actually is happening is not. It says there's. 57 operations of this going on in nine provinces in Thailand. Okay, okay. So, oh, wow. my, my question being, can you even train monkeys to pick coconuts? I'm, Obviously, I guess. Yeah, monkeys are super smart, man. Coco had a kitten and she learned sign language and stuff. You remember that? You remember Coco's kitten, Jonas? Sure. You don't remember Coco's kitten. Pay attention to anything. Jonah, in school, when we were when we were in school, Jonas, Coco's kid back was before like, light bulbs. Back in the 1900s, yeah, <laughs> things were like uh, the Coco's kid was a big thing. There was like a book and stuff, and Jane Goodall. But it was the uh, it was the ape that learned. Oh, sign Jane Goodall, like, like that thing, the gorillas in the mist. No, it was the, the Coco was a special a special gorilla that learned sign language, and they got her a pet kitten, and it helped to uh, kind of just like. Help her into her new uh, being in like, captivity. Like a, like a support kitten? Like people have support dogs? Kind of, yeah. Maybe I need a support kitten. I mean, I've been trying to get you a, get a cat for like three years What now. would it do with all my cacti, though? Well, what would it do with all your what? What would the cat do with all my cacti? What do you mean? What do it cats... would like get poked. It would be so? curious. Good. It, then it learned. Jonas, that's how animals learn. You're not, you're not wrong. You put your hand on a hot stove. You know not to put your hand on a hot stove. And when he says cacti, he means cactuses. Plural of cacti is cactus is cacti. We're not going to have this argument right now. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to do it. We're hold not going to do it. Hold on. Not in front of, not in front of the listeners. Hold on. Hold on. No, I, let, me, let me Google this. It don't even matter, Jonas. We're talking about something else. <laughs> Hello, Fresh is out here whipping monkeys, and you're a grammar Nazi. <laughs> you're the grammar Nazi. <laughs> so look. Anyways, yeah. So back. I didn't realize that. See, now when they said monkey labor, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. In my mind, I pictured a bunch of monkeys like jumping in trees, getting coconuts, living their monkey lives. You know, eating bananas on their lunch break or whatever, and just enjoying their time in the jungle. I didn't realize they were chaining these monkeys together and abusing them. Oh, That's so oh, so like at first you thought it was funny, and then you saw the thing, and you're like, "Oh, this isn't funny." I didn't think it was. I thought it was hilarious until about three minutes ago. Shades and whips, and <laughs> you're, you're like, like, "Oh, there's a bunch of mon- happy monkeys on a farm picking yeah. coconuts." And then you realize it's like it's like yeah. a it's like slave labor, and you're like, I, "Oh, that's not." I guess okay. I should have realized that if humans are going to use any animal or another person for free labor, that it's going to be inhumane. To a yeah, extent. I mean, just like we're like our like chicken farms for eggs. Yeah, we yeah. Just stuff nine of them in a cage and let them lay eggs, and, stress eggs all day long. And, and here, and here, I have to go with like, I mean, you know, like I, I don't want to get into my vegan bag. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be like, well, if you can, if you can eat a burger, then why can't you watch a, a monkey hunt coconuts while getting like smacked on the back? You know, it's like there's a big, is there a difference? What? I don't know, Jonas. <laughs> if you can eat a burger, why can't you watch monkeys eat pit coconuts by getting slapped on the back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, 
I'm picking up what you're putting down a little bit. You know what I'm going for here? It's like, kind of. It's like one in one case, you're just abusing the animal. In the other one, you're literally consuming it. You're literally like, you're I'm going to kill you. the circle you. of life in the other the one. The circle of life. Is like, that make cow's going to die anyway, so why don't we eat the cow? Yeah, well, look, the coconuts need to get picked one way or another, so just I can't. Just shake the goddamn tree. Uh, but you got to pay a person to do it. Yeah, and the coconut falls, hits him on the head and stuff. I mean, look, look, we got we got to look into the whole horse industry because downtown New York they have these guys on rickshaws using horses to pull a rickshaw. These horses getting compensated for their work. Yeah, they get a nice apple at the end of the night. When's well, the last time we checked and see if this horse does this horse have proper insurance? What if he gets sick? You know, does yeah, he have does I he mean, have benefits? Then you got the other ones where it's just manpower doing the rickshaws. Well, just see, like the, lonely boys sitting down there with their and, hand on their chin. And see, they definitely get payment. They get compensated for that. They get to choose their own hours and make their own prices. You gonna be a rickshaw operator? I'm not gonna be a rickshaw operator, but I'm trying to get down to a point here is like at what point do we separate this from being a travesty to all the other instances of us using animals in labor for consumption? I mean, what do what horses that race get? Okay. Thank now. You see, now you're on my line of thinking. This is what I'm talking about. What do horses that race Nothing. get? Nothing. They get petted. Yeah, but they also don't get necessarily abused to do it. I mean, when they're riding, they get hit with a crop. That's very true. They yeah, get... I mean, they're called a riding crop because they're getting beat. I don't think that's why they call it a crop. I think it was named that before. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know the history of crops in this world, all right? I don't know. You know more about that than I do. Ahem. But, uh... <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, love, I love harvesting crops. Uh -huh. I used to harvest crops with my grandmother all the time. Uh -huh, I bet. She had a garden. We would harvest her squash and her rutabaga. <laughs> She didn't do rutabaga. Corn. They had a little bit of corn, dude. I used to see corn stocks. <laughs> did she have animals on the farm that no, she no, abused they for had, labor? No, no. They just had a, a plot of land, and they did a little garden. Okay, very while cool. While they were spry. Very cool. A little off subject, but very cool. Um, so yeah, You were talking about crops. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, like I, like I was saying, so I don't know. So, I definitely think that HelloFresh should not... Do that. Be doing that, and that they, but I mean, that's probably how they keep their uh, their margins down. <laughs> just like they just buy monkeys and then just abuse them till they die. Yeah, it's it's probably cheaper to keep like one guy to just like keep a bunch of apes in line than it is to like pay a bunch of humans to do it. Yeah, and they probably got trank guns and tasers and stuff. Well, obviously chains, whips. That's insane, man. Like, I, I got to see this operation. I got to yeah, like, see what this operation really is. I can't is. even imagine being the guy there who's, like, abusing the monkeys. Yeah. How do you how do you get the job of, like, monkey abuser? Monkey? <laughs> how do you get that job? Like, uh, hey, uh, I saw in the paper you had a job for <laughs> monkey right. abuser. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interviewing you for monkey abuser, Jonas. All okay. Right? All right. All right. Uh, yeah, we're looking for a guy for the position of monkey abuser. Oh, I okay. Thank you for coming in for the uh, for the appointment here. Thanks for the opportunity. I've been really um, looking for something like so, this. So, so yeah, what do you what skills do you have that makes you think that you have what it takes to abuse monkeys uh, on a well, daily basis? Well, I uh, have abused my children and my wife for for <laughs> a long time. Oh, so I've been looking to get into animals. Oh, so you're a New York City police officer. Oh, nice. Oh, Jesus. Good to know. Yes, okay. yes, I was. I just transferred out here to <laughs> Thailand. Because oh. I uh, had some had some internal investigations, but you know, perfect, I figure perfect. why not come to a place where everyone gets abused? You know, Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. So think so basically <laughs> basically they're hiring New York City police officers okay. <laughs> but like, who get fired from the force. Or is the person who is abusing the monkeys abused by the person who runs the operation? And it's just oh. a chain of abuse, just like kids who are abused as kids abuse their kids when they're adults because it's a chain of perpetual generational abuse that they cannot get away from. And it's a societal problem that everyone needs to focus. Anyways, hi. No, I like I like your passion, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could be. It could be. Um, well, God knows what kind of business practices go down in Thailand. Apparently, just anything's free game there, apparently. I mean, so. when you hear anything about Thailand, it's always the wildest ass story. It really ever. is the wildest ish that be going down. Like, there. oh, what's going on? Oh, there's, you know, like, oh, just 
pro- legal prostitution and people yeah. getting made. I mean, it's just. I, I, I know that they have like just like a built in Epstein Island going on. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, yeah, they yeah. do. Like, yeah, they, yeah. they have like for, yeah. like uh, uh, yeah, like forced prostitution is a big thing yeah. out there. Yeah. Like, it's just. Just dude, so, Thailand is a wild ass place. Does this does this change your outlook on uh, on HelloFresh at all? I mean, I've been a customer for years. They have very very good products. I don't have no idea. I've never tried their shit. It's probably trash, and I probably would never. Because <laughs> I like I like monkeys, dude. What? I don't want monkeys to get hurt. I've never seen you even talk about a monkey before. This me. I don't like them. <laughs> what are you I can like a monkey and never talk about it. All him. of a sudden, you're a goddamn monkey activist now. No, I'm not an activist. I mean, I like pillows. You never hear me talking about pillows either. Yeah, if I gave you a plate of chimp nuggets, you'd eat them some bitches up of so what fat. nuggets? Chimp nuggets. <laughs> I would absolutely try chimp nuggets. <laughs> yeah, no, you would, you sick freak. <laughs> <laughs> Riding crop on the side, you'd be yeah, like, yeah. I'd be slapping, <laughs> slapping the table as I, as I <laughs> eat my chimp nuggets. <laughs> Anyways, that's all that we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.